on BBC Radio Northampton. This is Chris Barrow. Now, we're talking about maths as well today and whether you actually use it in real life because it's World Maths Day today. Now, I remember being told at school how important it is to learn all sorts of maths, you know, quadratic equations, sine, cos, tan, but is it really that important? Uh, Tom Wise is the assistant principal and a maths teacher at Duston School. Joining us on the line now, uh, Tom, firstly, do people dread stuff when it comes to maths? I mean, what do they most dread, factorising things? Um, factorising is, is pretty complicated and it's, uh, it's, it's high up there in the math hierarchy. So, um, you know, it, it can be a topic of fear. It's, it's an algebraic topic as well. And, and I've heard people talking about it in snippets that I've heard today um, about that fear of algebra. Um, fact, uh, fractions is, is another problem because there's so many different ways of dealing with fractions. People jum, jumble them all up and, and make mistakes and, and then just start to get fed up of using them. Um, it's, it's quite an abstract topic, so people can look at a fraction, a third compared to a quarter, and, and think that one is bigger than the other because of the number on the bottom, but that's the opposite way around. Absolutely. Um, I remember struggling in particular with just exactly what you said there, where a third is, th it's one over three, and you think, well, that's smaller than one over four, but it's the other way around, and it's, that, it's so confusing when you're first learning it. Yeah. It can be a nightmare. Um, what do people find difficult apart from that, though? I mean, because there's a lot of enjoyment that can be got from maths, isn't there? I heard you mention the quadratic formula earlier. Um, it's, it's a complicated topic. It, it seems crazy to people when they first look at it as to, to what that would be used for. And, and quadratic equations, you know, they do go on to things like, ro you know, being a rocket science scientist, figuring out how um, a rocket would move through the air and, and fall back to the ground. Um, you would use the same math, though, to, to look at a football or a cricket ball and, and how it's manufactured and how it would fly through the air. And, and someone around the world has to design them, someone has to manufacture them. So the, the math is used, it is relevant, it just might not be used in everyday life for every person. We're teaching people to, to solve problems as well, though. So you're, you're learning skills that can be transferred across to all of your, your other subjects or to everyday life in, in terms of a way of thinking. And how do you keep uh, young children engaged in maths? Because it's something that is, is, uh, gets more interesting as you go, isn't it? Because there's so much to explore. There always is, and, and I think exploration and investigation are key. You have um, to engage the students. It's hard work because not every student comes to your maths lesson enjoying the subject from, from primary school, um, or in fact they might have enjoyed it at primary school and they start to find things difficult and start to lose that love. You've got to keep hold of it as best you can. Um, so as a maths teacher, you know, a lot of the time I hear people say that someone who's really good at maths isn't necessarily the best maths teacher because they might lose that uh, relationship with the students in terms of engaging them. But I, I do feel it's really key to being a good maths teacher because you've got to know how to, answer the, to ask the right questions. You've got to facilitate the learning at the, the pitch of the students that you're working with and engage them with questions that they can have a go at and they feel they, they might be able to join in with but also to develop their learning so that they get to the next stage and, and they carry on with you through that journey of, of exploring the maths. And Tom, is something like World Maths Day, which of course is today, is something like that important to, you know, to, to you know, it's like celebrate in a way? Do you do anything special for it? Yeah, definitely. We, um, we talk about pi a lot at school because it's one of those recognisable numbers that students often sort of have an inkling of, of what it is and, and obviously it gets taught at school in the use of area of a circle. And so, so they know as much as that. We have Pi going down the corridor on our maths corridor with photos of the students holding each digit. So they're all very familiar with what those digits are. And you know, it's, it's things like that that we do to celebrate these days, to raise the profile of maths, as well as linking with other subjects. A couple of years ago, we did um, a, a maths week where we um, focused on pizza and how uh, it, we called it Pizza Week. It was how, how does maths impact on making or selling pizzas, you know, running a, a pizza delivery shop, making pizzas, delivering them, the logistics involved, the recipes. And so all of the lessons were themed around pizza, um, all the PowerPoints that we delivered, all the, the activities. And it was a really engaging for the students to, to use maths in so many different ways. Yeah, how real life kind of is affected by it is always the way to go, I think. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for talking to us. That's Tom Wise there, the assistant principal and a maths teacher at the Dustin School. So, yeah, using it in real life can really be the way to learn. Mm -hmm.